Hi everybody, today you're going to learn about how to use Cambia to make a magazine. When you first log into Cambia, make sure that you log in using your um, Google account. That is the first thing you need to make sure that you are doing. After you log into Cambia, you're going to get to a screen that looks sort of like this. You will probably not have these things at the bottom, but you will have something that looks like this. You are going to choose the More feature because we're going to be creating a magazine. And they have different templates already made for you through Cambia. So we're going to choose the magazine template that is under the documents, this one here. I'm going to go to Magazine, and you're going to see that you're going to have different layouts you can choose from to make your magazine. Now you need to make a front cover for your magazine and you also need to use different texts in it. So you have all these different choices here that you can choose from. And you can scroll down and look at all the choices. I'm going to choose this one as my magazine cover. And then I have different choices of things that I can do. If I wanted to add text to it, I could click over here on the left hand side and I could hit text. I could either use a big text box or a subtext or just a little bit of text and I could click and I could drag it right in there and I could add text right in. I could change the font if I wanted, make it a different font. I could make the size bigger or smaller. I could change the color, make it white. I could make the box bigger if I wanted. I could also use some of these different font things that they have here. Make sure you choose to use free ones, any, one, any of the ones that are free. When you get into the paid ones, it becomes more of a problem because then it won't show up when we go to download at the end. So make sure you choose a free one if you're going to do something like that. So now you've sort of learned how to add text. Now if you wanted to use a background of any kind, you could choose one of the backgrounds here and add it. Or you could say, if I didn't like that image here that's on the background here and I wanted to upload my own image to the magazine, you go to Upload Images. You go out on the web and you find an image. So I'm going to go to Google. And maybe I want to get an image of a dog. And, oh, look at that cute dog. So I'm going to choose this image here of the dog. And I could go to Save Images As. I'm going to find out where I want to save it. So I'm going to save it right now to my desktop. And then I'm going to go to Upload Images. And on my desktop, there's my image of my dog. And it will now show up in my downloads. And now I can take it and I can put that image right there in the magazine. And I just dragged it in. And so then I could move or change anything I wanted. Now, if I wanted to not have this here, I can click on it and delete it or move things around or places like that. Now, after I have done making my, you know, magazine front cover, I need to also add pages to it. So I can click right here and I go to add pages and then I can go back to the layouts and I can choose different, a different layout. So this is one where I want to add text. So maybe I want my magazine to have a text like this. Up here, I might want to put in, ah, and look over here at the side here. I can zoom in so I can see more by clicking the arrows here. If I wanted to, you know, make the title of my thing, maybe say Dog's Rule or something like that. And if I didn't want to have that font there, I could do that. If I want to, say, put another picture of a dog, I could use Go Find an Image. I can also search for images here. But most of the images when you search 
you're going to find the ones that are free, but then the other ones are going to be paid for. If you get a one that's paid for, you're going to see that they are going to have those X's like that here. So you basically want to stick with the free ones. So if I wanted to say maybe get rid of this image here, because that would be a paid for image, then I can take this free image and I can resize it and I could put it there. And then I, this is where I would put the body of my text. Now, since it's hard to see like that, I'm going to scroll up more so I can see it in. And then I can take that and I could either type my text here like that, or I could also copy and paste from somewhere else and put it into my text box. And I have it all set up here. So once I have my magazine, how I like it, I've gone through all the steps, I've made it all pretty like I wanted. I can, then I need to download it. What you're going to choose, you can either download it as an image, but most of the time when you're going to print it out, you're going to use PDF for print. Now while it's saving my design, you'll see that something's going to come up and it might say that you owe it money. Up, oh, it says your design is ready. I can just save it like that. And then if you look here, you'll see that now my image is there. What I've made and then I can go and print it out. Sometimes if you have something that is a paid part, so let me put something in here that's paid. But I put in this image because it's got those little things. It means that it's a paid part of the document. Sometimes what happens when you go to the download area is it's going to say that you're going to owe it a dollar. You see here where it says paid here? Well, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to say that I want to download. I don't want to pay the dollar and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to. What you do is you say you can download as a watermarked draft. And when you do that, what's going to happen is it will no longer cost you money, but you will see that what's going to happen is when we look at the image, it's going to, on page two, you're going to see those little lines for the image that is the one that is sort of paid for because that's the draft part. So you want to stay away from using the paid images because it doesn't look as nice if possible. Go to uploads most of the time, but you do have the ability to use a paid image if you want to and not have to fully pay for it. This was a very basic tutorial on how to use Cambia. You are more than welcome to ask me any questions or come and see me, but play around with the program. Once you play around with it for a little bit, you'll realize that there's a lot you can do with it. And it just takes a little time. You see here, even the images I can change colors to colors of so you're not stuck with a certain image if you wanted. It's a lot of fun to play around with this tool and try to make really fun different displays. Please, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than willing to help you.